Hi. 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 Oh, oh. oh. oh a bit shopping. Yeah. Oh, those tomatoes look lovely. Yeah. Just pick them up at the supermarket. Oh. Well, I know where you can get tomatoes just like that for three times the price. You're joking. Take me out of the ring road, down the side the laser quest. A little slice of arcade, you're out the back of the Toys R Us. Cause they're the horny hands of toil, sell muddy veg and rapeseed oil. Brought straight from the farm for, for people, people like, like us. us. <laughs> There's ostrich steak, smoked venison, and eggs with shit and feathers on. There's cauliflowers with gritty bits in between. If normal markets turn your head, then we here instead. It's the furthest thing from his end as you've ever seen. <laughs> the farmer's market. The farmer's market. I drive here in the Volvo and I park oh, it. The market. The farmer's market. I find any old crap and sell it in a basket. <laughs> Quats, bananas, and cheese from southern France. Brought right here or freshly from the ground. <laughs> We've got cupcakes from our cupcake field. Just harvested this morning. They're, They're yours for a steal at six for thirty pounds. pounds. I'll take the lot. <laughs> market, the farmer's market. <laughs> I'm no more a farmer than Morton Harkin. Oh, 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 some falls and here's their money. The two are so easily parted. We'll so have enough, enough to buy. Got flapjacks here and sugared mice like a normal shop, but not as nice. And this is a just under the price of gold. <laughs> Jury, walnut, tangerine, and little Batman figurine. All dug up this morning, so they must be sold to the gentlemen in the mustard courts. <laughs> if you drive from junctions two to four and wondered what the queue is for, it's the credulous masses of urban middle class. <laughs> In the car park outside discount beds, we don't pay any overheads. So I make a small fortune sitting on my fat ass. <laughs> the farmer's market. It's panic to chairs this year. We get almost up from my driver in the car. Just give it some more. Yeah, it's a magic market. It's a small shop of this day. Wrap and sell it to the boss. Got to. Oh, well, don't worry, Martha. They're only a few minutes late. Are we to be kept waiting much longer, Alan? They're on their way, Grandad. They were on their way 15 minutes ago. Ah, that's them outside. I'll go and get them. Uh, back in a moment. Remember, best behaviour. Hmm. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Grunwald. I'd like to meet my grandfather. Uh, Major, this is my grandfather, Rolf. <laughs> Major Archie Fenshaw, at your service. Ah, a man of the military, like myself. So you fought for Hitler's army, then? I fought for my country, if that's what you mean. Fought and lost, if I'm not mistaken. Well, if we got the Americans to fight our battles for us, perhaps the outcome would have been different. <laughs> OK, OK, steady on, you two. That was all a long time ago. Not so long that we should forget, but long enough for us to forgive. We've both seen far too much fighting in our lifetimes. Yeah. The past is the past. And we're here to celebrate the future of our families. For a minute there, I thought all hell was going to break loose. <laughs> the last thing we need are arguments at the engagement party. It'll be like bloody Jordan and Peter Andre. <laughs> uh, yeah, that poor girl. I, I beg your pardon? I don't know how she put up with that man in the first place. Yes. However did she put up with Peter Andre looking after her children while she went out and flashed her chest for money? How did she put up with him, 
cooking and cleaning while she was out riding horses. Katie was supporting the whole family while he was doing nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Was Insania nothing? <laughs> Number three in the UK charts? Is that your definition of nothing? No. My definition of nothing is Peter Andre. <laughs> That's for Peter Fritz. And this is for Katie. Oh. I see you picked up the first piece of meat that came to hand, just like Jordan did with Alex Reed. <laughs> So where were <laughs> Just like Katie's Olympic traveler dream, you write me off at your parents! We all saw the video of her and Dane Bowers! <laughs> Plus 